To start to see the changes and manage them and be able to view them with our layouts, we need to look at the new revision history object. Typically this is placed on a layout and it's a GDL object that's specifically written for this task of placing revision history and revision changes on layouts. The revision history object is called revision history 18 and it's held within the graphics symbols folder within the Archicad 18 library. You'll see across here we can set the sizes. I'll also show you how we can graphically change that in a second. There's a number of options then within revision history settings. So we can choose between a simple table or a detailed table. And what this will do is change the amounts of information displayed. We can choose things like the number of rows, the units, if we have a frame visible, text style, usual sort of things for formatting. We can then choose what we actually have content wise. So we're starting off with a revision ID. We then have a change ID, the change name itself and the issue date. We can add further options here from this list that's available. We can also customise the titles, so maybe what I'll do is change revision ID to just revision and we'll just put CH for change, change name, maybe we'll call that title and then date, I think we could probably leave as date, that's safe enough. There's additional options here, we could even put watermarks on, so we can come in here and the watermark is work in progress but that literally can be anything you want to type in there you could choose a colour for it or you could just leave it with the, the red so it certainly stands out the final option is to do with the attributes so looking back at the object you can see my titles have changed revision, change, title and date you'll see there's some clickable hotspots these if I pick up we can actually use to resize the table. There's also options to resize the individual columns depending on what our formatting and what our space preferences are. You'll see though that because I'm in a layout master there's no information visible here that will only show once I go to an actual live layout. The other thing I wanted to show is down at the bottom here we have various bits of auto text but we also have a couple of new fields. So the one of interest here is Rev ID because we want this to match with the revisions shown in the revision history object. And this is just simply a piece of text. We have more auto text available here, so we now have layout revision, and there are these fields that we can choose from to insert anywhere on a layout master sheet. If I now go to my floor plans, you'll see these update. The revision cloud is actually visible here, but as part of this process what actually happens is through this phase of revisions or changes, the layout book actually goes and highlights the pages where these elements are visible, so we can track more easily where the changes take place.